What's up, I'm Kyle, and this is the Vervid Forest. I'm back at CARE catching up with Orphan Oreo, and I also get to meet two new orphan baby baboons, a little girl named Eliana, and a rambunctious little boy named Mandela. Shout out to my awesome patrons, Mac, Janet Franciscovich, Chuck and Die, Jim and Linda, and someone I just cannot name. I'm inside Greeky right now, the nature reserve that uh, CARE is situated in. And I'm driving in, and I should be at CARE real soon. But uh, then I saw this, and I just had to stop and uh, get a shot. Do you see them? Family of elephants. Honestly, that's like the coolest thing. Like, I love that so much. Those dudes are just walking wild on the side of the river. Time to go see some baboons, specifically little Mogorgio, AKA Oreo, AKA double stuffed cuteness, AKA the goodness is in the center, AKA his cream filling is just love. <laughs> Duh. I just got into the quarantine area. And look at this little dude. He's not even a little dude anymore. He's huge now. Look at this Oreo. Look at that face, he's so inquisitive. <laughs> he's got so much like, ah, uh, just attention and awareness now compared to last time. Yeah, in the cool pose. Look at how big your hands are. <laughs> oh my gosh, dude, you're too much. <laughs> Oreo is going to be meeting his foster mom in just a couple of days, which means his time with Nadine is finally winding down. So has he become pretty attached to you? <laughs> yeah, he's, I think three months of us being together, it's quite a, Yeah. so the bonding's going to be interesting. The baboon foster mom that will be adopting Oreo is named Maxie, and she's from Jasper's troop. Has she ever had an orphan before? Um, yes, so there's three other babies in there, they're older, mm -hmm. so they're like two, three years old now. Okay. Um, and even when they put one of the babies in with another female, she took the baby anyway. So. Oh, wow. <laughs> so she likes babies. She does. Also in nursery quarantine with Oreo is a female orphan named Eliana. She is very tiny and very shy. A volunteer named Becky was caring for Eliana at the time, and she told me how Eliana became an orphan. Her family were actually all shot by um, a hunter in front of her um, and she was left because he just couldn't do it. Mm. He yeah. said he just couldn't kill her so yeah he took her and then... And how old is she? Um, how old is she really? Like a month? She's about seven, six, seven weeks. Okay. Uh, uh, uh. Yeah, because she's got about seven teeth now. Yeah. <laughs> awesome. She's really come out of her shell recently actually. She's a uh, starting to explore and her play face is really funny. She doesn't know quite sure whether she wants to play face, but she does it and then she's like, oh, okay. But she's very scared of new people and changing. And mm -hmm. Oreo just seems very chill with people. He just, he's like, you're fun, you'll do. Yeah. I like you. But then when Nadine walks in, <laughs> or even if she just walks past the window, he's like, mum, <laughs> and then just goes. But Mandela really helped him. As soon as Mandela came, his confidence grew. Really? Yeah. In what ways did he help him? Like, how did that affect him? He just, like, he wasn't so clingy towards people. Mm -hmm. And he found more fun in playing with Mandela. And they'd just... <laughs> <laughs> um, they used to just run around. And he'd just 
became so much more confident in everything. Like he wasn't as scared of people. He got big. I'm playful. I love doing it. Nadine then took me over to bonding enclosure number three, where she introduced me to orphan Mandela and his foster mom, Betty. Mandela was orphaned when his mom was shot, a very similar story to many of the baboons. The rest of his story is pretty unclear. For the first few weeks that Mandela was at care, he suffered from night terrors and could barely sleep through the nights. Looking at Mandela now, you'd never guess that's how his story began. He and Betty are completely bonded with one another and inseparable, and in just a couple of weeks, they'll be heading back to her troop together. I hope you guys are enjoying the episode. I just wanted to remind you that CARE is a volunteer-run nonprofit organization, meaning it's the same as the VMF. All of their baboons are kept alive by your donations and people like you volunteering to help them out. So if you're interested in working with CARE or donating to CARE, then you can visit their website, which is primatecare.org. And if you want to keep up with Eliana and Oreo and Mandela or any of the orphans that come into CARE or any of the work that's going on at CARE, then I suggest you follow their Instagram, which is at primate underscore care. Nadine then took me over to bonding enclosure number one, where Maxie is waiting to meet her new adoptive son, Oreo. This is Maxie, so she's going to be Oreo's surrogate mum. So there were a handful of trips that Stephen was kind of like ideal for a boy. Um, so I took Oreo down and it's normally the female that shows the most interest and Maxie got so excited that she started like self-grooming her arm, like leg, cause she couldn't touch him. And so I was like, yeah, she's, and I monitored the trip for a while. So I knew her behavior and she's really good with the babies. Um, so she's gonna be a really good mum. We done a general health check and she's now in quarantine for 72 hours. So then Monday afternoon, I'm able to bring Oreo in here for the first time. And then the process, that is a three week long process will then start. Hopefully he's gonna take to it like a duck to water and he won't be in here for three weeks. So what's, what's that gonna be like for you and him uh, doing the process? So it's gonna, I think it's gonna be quite stressful for him, but also for me, because I'm gonna see him so distressed in the beginning, um, but he will still sleep with me at night, so He'll, instead of spending 10 hours in the nursery, he'll spend like 10 hours in bonding with people he's comfortable enough. This is the human side that we're stood on. And then there's a little door just down here that we open up and the babies go through as and when they want to. <clears throat> but I'll still then pick him up at night, most probably take him to the river to chill out for the afternoon. Slowly, he'll then have to stay in here until it's dark to get him more comfortable and then because I'm his surrogate, I won't lock him in. Someone else who he's comfortable with enough will lock him in, which I'm I'm excited and I've been waiting for this day, but I'm also like three months. I've had him three months and it's like, okay, it's like actually letting a child go. That's, I'm excited, but, but nervous. nervous. Yeah. <laughs> but I know she's gonna be really good, so. And he's got another boy in the troop and two older, female kid juveniles that will look after him. And the day after I took him down to see Matsy, I went back to monitor them the following day and she kept looking at my belly where he was and was kind of like, where's your baby? Where's your baby gone? So she's a good one. <laughs> back in the nursery, Eliana was beginning to liven up and both babies were gaining their confidence with me. Mm -hmm. Poor little girl. <laughs> and now my hair's gone. This is how I end up bald <laughs> after a year here. Oh. <laughs> We're done. That was We're good. Done. That was yeah, very adventurous. Right. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> that noise is the best noise. <laughs> Oreo started climbing up onto my arm, lip smacking and chattering away, but then he'd get confused and overexcited and oh, run God, away. Just, uh, just, uh, Hi, buddy. Hi. This gave Eliana some confidence to try the same. But she was a little more nervous and confused than Oreo was. She's like, I don't know what She got so nervous at one point that she peed on Nadine's leg. It's just a little squirt. You see like boys are coming down, Rose girls was out. Those little hands. Does it smell like she's Apart from that beautiful teaser, these girls. Getting like this in front of me, it smells like the thing. Yeah. <laughs> 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 she hit that thud. That was the best part, was the thud. <laughs> the it hit so hard. All in all, it was great to see these baby baboons doing so well, and I can't wait to come back and catch up with Oreo while he's in with Maxie. <laughs>